Should we take a bullet for Kim? We're gonna let it happen. Did we die? We did. You simply blink, then something inside your pelvis explodes. Your entire lower body is on fire and your legs can't uh. support you. You fall down like a rag doll. That was clearly the wrong choice, but I don't know how we were going to make a 3 percenter anyway. The pain is too immense to scream. It pushes the air out of your lungs. Everything goes dark. A distant blur as you recede into it. Let's listen through the darkness and pain. The Hardy Boys are screaming, fighting, dying. Someone jumps over you. Nearby gunfire shatters glass. I mean, we made some good checks there. It's frustrating if I screwed it up. Stop! The cop! Protect the cop! He's down! Whoa. Wow, Titus. Wow. Let's try to open our eyes. What do I see? Nothing. A persisting darkness. Oh, wow. Dancing lights of pain. Distant shadows cast by them like a hellish play. Whoa, this is so... Look at look at this. I'm not even sure what's happening there. You're bleeding out. Out of it, a silhouette appears, crouching over you. You hear a familiar voice filled with urgency and fear. Oh boy, what do we do? I'm going to read all of these in case you're on a phone and you can't see them. No one wants to do anything with me. No one wants to party with me. Live fast, die old, and wince from the pain. Him, I lied about not remembering who I am. I made it up. I remember everything. That's not true. There's a white shadow that smells like apricots. It's always there. We're going to say that one. I think his last thought will, will be of, of Dora. Stay with me. You feel burning hot tears streaming from your eyes. I shouldn't have called her. Now she hates me. Yes, keep talking. You hear me? Stay awake. But you can't. It's so hard. Your eyelids grow heavy, and the sounds ever more distant, and a cold comes over you. The lieutenant, too, is somewhere far away, almost gone, when suddenly you sense something behind him. A slender white shadow towering. Someone stands there, raising her pistol at him. The lieutenant does not see it. He's pushing down on your wound with both hands. Scream immediately. He's gonna die. We have an authority of minus three. This is the worst time to have low authority, but I did it intentionally, so now we're paying the price. We get plus three because Kim truly trusts us and Lieutenant trusts us, but Kim is about to be assassinated. No! Kim! Shoot. Dead. Yeah. You hear your bloody lips mumble. You try to give him your gun so he'd understand. But he does not. He doesn't look into your eyes and see the fear there. We almost made it. With a minus three authority, we almost made it. He just shakes his head, still crouched over you. You hear a distant gunshot, velvety smooth. A red circle has appeared on the lieutenant's jacket. It was only it's medium. fast. It was only medium, and, and and we we failed it, and Kim is dead. Like a pillow, he falls on you, cold nylon and blood slumped on you, as the lights go out. All the lights. The last thing you hear is the sound of his spectacles landing on the pavement next to you. Wow. We got Kim killed. Let's fall in the darkness. This is death. One more door, baby. One more door. No, let me back into the fight. Let me save Kim. Kim? There is no Kim. There is no fight. It's over. It was. Have mercy on yourself. Take the door. He's not taking it. His body is not taking it. Oh, God, no. He's not disintegrating. He's swelling up instead. Of the hours, hurting, moaning in his sleep, and rotting, and being disinfected, and smelling of drugs, and feeling saliva in his mouth, drifting in painkillers, thrashing 
in his bone sleep. He can't go. Not before the case is solved. That's certainly how I feel. There was a radio in the distance. A radio of the world. Plain sounds. Good morning, Elysium. Soon you will return to the world. Hours turn to days. Soon we will get up again and go through it again, again. Finally, we know what the infernal engine was outside. The clarion call. The engine of a Caprice Kinema. Are we about to restart the game? No, it was him. He is the infernal engine. Can't you see? He never stops. He only gets worse. Wow. Okay, let's see what happens. You see Kuna's familiar shape in the found pants. It turns double, then triple from the pain. He says, Whoa, look at our room here in the whirling. It's all cleaned up, and there's this nice chair here. Coin slot's dead? No. No, 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 no. No. Just kidding, Pigo. <laughs> the booby wagon took the Beano cloud away. He's probably gonna live. The what? Where did they take him, Kuno? To the hospital, fuck dad. Try to keep up with Kuno. He glares at us with something akin to respect. Wow. We completed the task, we got 70 experience, we leveled up again, but also Kim is still alive and so are we. Thank God. Okay, he's alive. Wow, I really thought we had lost the game. They say you shot that fucker in the face? That's fucking cool to Kuno. So I thought I'd stick around. He's saying I now and not calling you a or a pig. Is he ill or something? Hold on. There's something different about you, Kuno. Nah, Kuno's just off speed for a few days. There's a melancholy look in his eyes. Being off speed makes Kuno sad. Makes Kuno think about shit. He makes vague gestures around his head with his fingers. Be straight with me, Kuno. I need to get my bearings. Sure, Kuno's gonna help you with that. Kuno's in a given mood right now. So, how long was I out, Kuno? Two days. Kuno's been out longer sleeping off the speed train. Two days is nothing. Two days is nothing to the Kuno. What happened to my room? Baby Beard was in here. Was probably a bitch to clean this shit up. That seems to please him. Baby Beard. That can only be Gart, the cafeteria manager. You mean Gart? Yeah, fucking Baby Beard. Cleaned all your shit up. He's like your fucking mum now or something. I'm sure he doesn't appreciate it. So what happened to me? You tore some shit up there, pig. Got shot too. Kuno's looking at us like a tamed wolf would look at his master, like an equal. How badly am I hurt, Kuno? How would Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking doctor. Now he's looking at us like we're an idiot. Pretty fucking bad, Kuno thinks. But you're one lucky pig. The doc took the bullet out and said you'll live. So we were shot just in the leg, in the left leg. Can I walk? Are your legs attached to Kuno? Can the Kuno move <laughs> your legs? The fuck should I know? That's a fair response. It's a dumb question. You can walk. If it's possible, then, by pure willpower alone, you're a psycho locomotor. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to say it. I'm a psycho locomotor, Kuno. That's pretty cool to Kuno. Kuno's also a psycho. Uh, yeah, you are. Do you know who treated me, Kuno? Kuno did. What? He didn't. <laughs> you said there was a doctor who removed the bullet from my leg, Kuno. Yeah, some cunt from your station came over and knife fucked you when you were sleeping. Oh my god, was it Horseface? Nick's Fuckleave, I think he was called. It said he was a doctor, then fucked off and told me to phone him if you shit yourself. We're detecting Druamine in your bloodstream. It's a potent morphine-based painkiller. The good doctor must have given you some. It's gonna suck when it wears off. Yeah, we actually got some Druamine. Uh, just after Ruby died. Well, why would we ask this? We know that. All right, let's do it anyway. Has anyone from my station been to see me? You keep asking all this weird shit from Kuno that the Kuno has no way of knowing about. All right, well, are you hurt, Kuno? Why? In the name of fuck, would Kuno be hurt? He rolls his eyes at us. That's a good question. Kuno's fucking smart. Kuno wasn't in that fuck pile. Kuno knows when shit goes south, unlike you. Yeah, that's right. You were probably hiding in your shack. Let's get up, slowly.
Go easy, pig. You want to lean on the corner or something? What is on? What is around our neck? What is that business? You can take it. Just don't lean on the old leg too heavily. Your balance is way off. You feel like you're about to fall over. How did we make a savoir faire check? So, how is it? Oh, we're still holding our gun. And our tablet, our ledger. Well, Kuno, my disco days are done. Yeah, you got lucky there, pig. Maybe now Kuno can show you what real, brutal, hard music is. I'm not sure you really know what that is. Still, you see something akin to respect in his eyes. All right, what happened to the others, Kuno? Some of those Union goons got fucked. Now the whole harbor is in lockdown. Even Kuno can't get in there. Everard probably used this armed altercation as an excuse to completely barricade himself in the harbor and cut off all communications with the outside world. We have no reason to doubt that Klaji has gone. And I'm not sure why our first question would be about Joyce, but I do think we'd ask about Titus because Titus was basically protecting us. The big fucko! Yeah, he's drinking downstairs. Kuno's not into that. Now we might ask these other things. Do you know if Klaja, the blonde girl, is really gone? Yeah, she's way gone, pig. Kuno's been here for two days, and Baby Beard and you are the only fucks in the building. Well, except for the people drinking downstairs. Of course she's really gone. What did you think? I don't know. I don't... I'm not going to ask about Joyce. The whole harbor is in lockdown? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. No one goes in or out. Shit's paranoid now. Would he ask about Joyce? Why would he ask about Joyce in this moment? Like, do we think somehow the mercenaries killed her first? I'm not asking that. Thanks for telling me, Kuno. No problem. Kuno shares the info. What do you think I should do now, Kuno? The fuck you asking Kuno for? How would Kuno know? Kuno's fucking 12. Relax, Kuno. I know what to do. I was just testing you. Oh, really? You can't get to that fat fuck Everart anymore. Because the harbor's locked down. Half the hardy bitches are dead. And your company bitch sailed off. Oh, well, that answers the Joyce question. He's really been keeping tabs on you, the Hardys, even the company rep. Kuno thinks you're fucked, but I can help you. What you got? Bounce that shit off Kuno. I, again, something in him is shifting, changing. There was a hole in Klaja's wall. Someone was checking her out, peeping. Huh? That could have been there for years. Kuno thinks it's a dead end. The fuck, Kuno? You want Kuno to be a yes man? Or you want me to tell it like it is? Walls are full of holes here, pig. Even Kuno knows that. There is no telling when it was made. He had a point there. Okay. There were some footprints in the dust in the room behind Claudia's. There are fucking footprints everywhere, pig. Pigs are too into this footprint shit. Kuno just saw footprints outside on the sidewalk. Okay, let's say this. I'm not sure what this is, but the fucking Maybells, Kuno. The flowers. Yeah, what? What bells? Oh, okay, now I remember. They were on the roof. I did not I did not catch them. Fucking butterfingers. Fuck pig. Kuno doesn't know about this flower shit. Kuno's not feeling it. He looks at us with a worried glance. He's wrong. What does he even know? Oh, you know what? Maybe the flowers were an indication of the wind direction for the shot? I don't know. Let's just try it. No, Kuno, somehow this is connected to the case. Sure, pig. Sure. <sighs> You better have more than some fucking roses if you want to bust this. There's a 28% possibility the victim was shot from a distance. Yeah, that sounds real to Kuno. Forensic shit, true crime shit. Let's check out some crime scenes in a set shit. Pig style, anything else? Is he our new partner? He's genuinely impressed. But that's mostly to do with how scientific that percentage sounded. Hey, w whatever it takes, man. Thanks for your help, Kuno. Shit ain't nothing to Kuno. What now? I'm giving up time to start drinking. I don't know, but I won't give up, Kuno. Will Pig, you ready to walk, Will Pig? I am. Let's go, Kuno. So, listen, Pig. Kuno's been thinking about shit and... Uh, Kuno's coming with you. Help you wrap this shit up, final style. Wow, he is our new partner. Asking for something, even asking to come along, doesn't come easy for him. Why do you want to come with me, Kuno? This scene is dead. Kuno's out of here. Might as well be a pig. Big up fucky fingers on me way out. Big up fucky fingers? He is a free thinker. Beyond the box. Can't argue with that. Okay, I won't try. Kid would make a half-decent sharpshooter, no? I, I don't know. Look at him. Life hasn't been easy on him. 
You want to drag him along and put him through more shit? Your shit? I mean, not really. He's only 12. Look, this might be his only way out. So we could transform Kuno into a cop? He is streetwise. Knows the neighborhood. Knows the people. He could be useful. That is true. This is a 12-year-old kid. You can't seriously be considering taking him along. What's going to happen to him? What's going to happen if we leave him here? He's going to go back to his fucking dad? All right, settle up. Let's accept the Kuno. Accepted the Kuno like a motherfucker. What are we going to do now? Now, as to what's going to happen next... Yeah, debrief Kuno. Let Kuno know the plan. He says, rubbing his hands together. A gust of wind blows in from the bay. The Duraluminium box around you vibrates imperceptibly. A familiar cold, a red thread on the roof upstairs. Taut, plucked like a string by the gust. We should check Mrs. Katarzyn Alaji's room. That's Klaje, right? Bitch next door. Kuno's thinking the same thing. Let's rock it, pig man. Okay, let's, let's see what all these orbs are. There's one on us. No, on the couch. The bed still smells of your sweat and blood. Oh, that's uh, fascinating. Let's look at the window. It looks like it's been fixed. Newly replaced glass, shining in the morning light. You hear traffic outside. Back in the world again. Oh, it looks like maybe the, the drawbridge has come down. Let's look at the tape deck. It's spinning. The wheels are spinning. This stereoite player has been reunited with its right speaker. Oh, gosh, what a mess we made. Let's take a... Is this... Let us sleep here? No. The bed's a little nicer now. You could get a good night's sleep here. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how much more time there is to sleep, but it's certainly not now. Okay, let's take a look at the tub. Look how clean everything is. You see gleaming white enamel. No bottles inside, and we have a thought. Look, the door is open. You can walk right into Kim's room. Oh, well then obviously we need to do that, but first we need to look in the mirror. The bathroom mirror has been wiped completely clean. You see the reflection of your face in the mirror, such as it is. A regular, clean-shaven police officer. Okay. I mean, we still, if you look at our portraits, still don't look particularly happy. All right, let's go into Kim's room. Oh, I just closed the door. All oh, right, this is awesome detective work. Uh, that's Claudia's room. How do... I guess I have to use the keys. Normally I use the mouse here. Okay, there we go. The alarm is set for 6.50 a.m. Oh, okay. Oh, is this Kim's notebook? These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork, half finished. You make out notes on this and other recent cases. Look, Kuno, Lieutenant Kitsuragi's notes. This is how real cops do it. The child. Dom's unfinished. Dom's unfinished too. The man with the hole in his head. Oh, boring our shit. This is police work, Kuno. Ah, motorcycle emptiness. That's a cool case. Kuno can solve that shit for the Beano. Don't call him a Beano, Kuno. No one tells Kuno what to call something. But the Beano was alright in Kuno's book. Kuno's pig. Alright, whatever. I guess we'll take what we can get from Kuno. What has he written on, on this case? Very little. This is a daily writer. He's just started copying notes from his notebook, preparing them for filing. The case appears to be named, however. Oh, really? What's the name? KK57. 0803 0815 The Furies are at home in the mirror. That's the name of the case? He went with the Furies. Perhaps the internal strife it implies was not so off after all. Or perhaps to honor your wishes? Or for some other reason? Hard to say. I had forgotten that that was our suggestion. Totally. What about the other cases? What do we have here? This year, you can see references to The Child, Dom's Unfinished, Dom's Unfinished 2, Motorcycle Emptiness, and The Man with the Hole in His Head. Anything more? Half a dozen stolen property cases, titled Crossword Puzzles 2 to 2000. <laughs> okay, let's close his notes. What else do we have in here? Uh, nothing, it looks like. Wow, that's actually a little surprising. All right, we'll go out the door. Oh, we can't actually open Kim's door. Kuno has nothing to say to us. Let's see, actually, if we talk to Kuno, what talk he says. Talk to Kuno. Oh, all right. Let's go. What happened to your art thing? Local city. Kuno dropped that art shit because Kuno's fucking poor and has shit for brains. Wow. Okay, a little down on yourself? A truly rare moment of self-pity. 
You better not make Kuno fucking cry about his art shit, okay? Change the subject. Kuno doesn't do that shit no more. Fuck that shit. Fuck everything. All right, yeah, fuck everything. Where's Kuno S? Kuno doesn't want to talk about this shit. There is a moment of thoughtful silence. He almost looks behind him. That is a look of a man who knows he'll be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. That toxic shit's behind Kuno now. We can only hope. I've had these weird shakes recently, and something like visions. Sounds familiar? Totally pig. Kuno's in the same shit every time he's coming off speed. You need to medicate that shit. No, 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 it's more than that. It's like the city's talking to me. Ah, Kuno's not into that hallucinogenic shit. That's for pussies. <laughs> okay. No, I don't think it's actually drug-related, Kuno. If you want to take a real blast, though, go down the coast to the old church where the speed freaks hang. Yeah, I've met him. I actually helped him set that thing up. Tell him Kuno sent you. They'll know what it means. Maybe we can get over there. That'd be cool. Kuno, I have a couple of questions about Martin A. Shoot. Kuno knows this shit all better than anyone. What's going on with the traffic jam? What do you mean, what's going on? This is good shit. You wouldn't believe the crap Kuno's getting from the trucks. Oh, what have you gotten? Oh, pig. Kuno's done with that shit. Kuno's a pig now, living the pig life. That Reva shit's behind him. Okay, what are your thoughts on the strike then? Uh, well, you know, pig, shit's fucked. And like, Kuno's got no time for this small time shit. Kuno's got enterprises to run. Okay, so he hasn't thought about it at all. Apparently, he has never formed there we an go. opinion on the matter and isn't going to do so on the fly either. Small time shit. Got it. The kid nods, obviously relieved. Whose statue is it on the roundabout? It's Kuno's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Philippe the Third, the squanderer, the greatest Philippian kings of Revachal. If you know that history buff shit, then why are you fucking Kuno with this? Kuno's a pig now, has important shit on his mind. Pig shit. I guess that I guess that's fair. What do you know about the village southwest across the canal? Kuno used to hang there sometimes. It's a real shithole. Everyone is old or a fucking drunk or dead. Except Except what? Except nothing. That shit is behind Kuno. Keep your nose out of it. Alright, anything you could tell me about the boardwalk, the ruins and the fish market? Cool place. Lots of shit to do there. You ever been inside the ruined building? Kuno's been everywhere, pig. Yeah? What's inside? Kuno ain't spoiling this shit for ya. You gotta climb in there yourself and check it out. Do we think he's lying? I guess it doesn't matter. Liar. Oh, look he at that. He doesn't have the guts to climb in there. I, I guess. Now, see, this is interesting. It's Half-Life that's saying this, not drama. How interesting. There seems to be a sea fort in the bay. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, pig. Yeah. It's a sea fort for... It's for defense, pig. Don't bore Kuno with this historic shit. I see. Kuno has never learned to say, I don't know. This is the extent of the boy's knowledge. Have you ever been there? Yeah, yeah. Of course Kuno's been there. But that was a long time ago, and I was fucked. Been on the train for fucking days. Can't remember shit. This poor kid, he's 12 years old, and he's already had the experiences of, like, the, the deep drug addict. The train. Speed train. Amphetamine Express. Yeah, Rhetoric, thanks for clearing that up. Thanks, Kuno, but enough about Martinez. Sure thing, pig. What now? Let's move. Okay. Let's get out of here. No need to walk. We know Kuno can run. Oh, let's open this door. Okay, let's go check out from the balcony how the area in front of the Whirling looks. Let's see. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, what is this? Okay, we're gonna have to go downstairs to look at it. Okay, let's go back inside. Oh, Kuno didn't come outside. Oh, oh yes he did. I don't know, that was strange. Alright, we're gonna go check out Klaji's room. You can already see an orb. Oh wait, come here. Ouch, that leg hurts. Maybe if you don't run, it'll be okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. Looks like she left something on the table. Did she now? Next to the stack of bills, you see a note. A few lines jotted down in large, uneven handwriting, just as the writer was about to rush out the door. I'm sorry, I fucked everyone over. P.S. I didn't kill him. P.P.S. Gift upstairs. Okay, a we'll gift, go check huh? that out. That's fucking suspicious to Kuno. What could this gift be? A trap, probably. But don't sweat it. You got the Kuno spot on you. Let's go in. This kid has a lot of self-confidence. Just don't walk into another radio trap, okay? Yeah, I, I definitely don't want to do that. 
first time did not go well. Relax. Not everyone is out to trap you. Maybe. Seems she left in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. Fugitive on the run shit. Kuno seen this shit before. I have no doubt. Let's look in the bathroom. Check the medicine cabinet. I don't imagine there's much in there. The medicine cabinet is empty. Not even a toothbrush. Pity. He's really cleaned this out. Smart chick. Kuno never leaves shit behind either. Kuno's a pro. Right, let's close the cabinet. Look, Kuno's off through the walls. He's he's phasing. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, an orb. A red thread made of nylon. It leads out of the room and onto the roof. Oh yeah, you can see it there. How weird. You see the same two neon lit shapes. A man and a woman. Only now a red thread bisects the room. Pointing from the antenna outside to the cupboard on the wall. Oh, oh, Kuno knows this shit. Ballistic shit. Science radio shit. Shows where the shot came from. <laughs> Okay. A ray of backward motion explodes from his mouth to the roof outside, A prime, to then widen into a radius of locations in Martinez, B prime, B double prime, and B triple prime. Okay, well, so B triple prime is, is the islet that we haven't been to. Where does the thread lead? It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of possible angles, from a point beyond the roof. B triple prime, the island in the bay. Is Klausi trying to tell us the shot came from the islet? Pig, you're really fucking onto something there. Yeah, you think so? How did she know how to do this? Kuno's got no fucking clue. You need to pig this shit, cop style. All right, we will pig this shit, Kuno. Thanks for that help. There are ruins on that islet, a sunken sea fort. I saw it in the coin operated viewer. Yeah, Kuno's seen that shit. Crazy shit. Ain't nothing to Kuno but lots of places to hide there. Fair enough. This is also the only point of origin I haven't ruled out yet. Cool shit. Sub-Zero shit. Kuno's listening. You got his attention. So what's next? Looks like we need to go to the island. The wind blows in from the open window. The boy squints, looking into the cold distance across the water. There, across the gray water, amidst crumbling concrete, a birch tree, the ruins of a flat tower, remember? I remember an anti-aircraft gun, the ruins of one, on the island. Totally what a sniper would use. Aircraft gun. I, I don't think that's true. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Fuck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> He's got so much enthusiasm. How are you going to get to the island? Kuno has his ways, but that ain't for your fat old ass. Maybe someone in the fishing village can help? There's this lady in the village. She... Uh, uh, yeah, there are, there are boats there. You go... Do shit there. You'll get one on the coast. Okay, that was weird. All right, let's leave. What else is up here? Maybe there's a surprise or a gift out on the roof here, or was that the gift? Nope, let's see. The thread is tied to the antenna. Okay, let's go back in through here. So I guess that was the gift. I doubt these footprints have changed. You clearly see footprints in the downy carpet of dust covering the workshop floor. All right, nothing new there. Uh, so the task that we got was to go to the island, which I imagine we're going to do in just a moment. Can we? We can't do anything with this. Let's open this door. Oh, the cook is gone. What time of day is it? 10 a.m. Okay, cook's not here. Let's see what's going on. See what guard has to say after all of that action. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. Yes, I did. That was very nice of you, guard. Thanks. Fucking cleaned it. What a dick. Dancing around in his maid uniform. What? I did. Thank you. Big improvement. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment and its clientele from gunfire. Looks like we finally won guard over. I give credit where credit is due, and that, sir, was a nice shot. I was watching until you hit him. Crawled inside, then. Bullets started flying. Anyway. 
Yeah, that was probably the smart move. He shouldn't have been out there to begin with. He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony looking by. In the danger zone, so to say. I hope at least your partner is recovering quickly. Also, you're staying here for free now. That's right, this establishment supports cops. The stay is free, the drinks are not. Just felt I needed to specify that. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Where did everyone go? Oh, you know, people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. No, I can't imagine they are. What happened to asshole? I don't remember everyone who comes here. And many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. Are we wearing sunglasses? I don't even remember. Okay, so I have to mention when it happened, you were right out there on the balcony. Yeah, I was. Yeah. That's because I'm a badass. Yes, when I think badass, I think Gart. It really took courage. Don't pick at him. <laughs> if you say it as two different words like that, it sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. We're gonna just nod stoically. He nods back at you even more stoically. Where our breakthrough on cleaning out the rooms is imminent. Just two badass men nodding stoically. <laughs> Make that three. Kuno is nodding too. Hands crossed. Is, is Kuno stoic? Is he badass? All right, thanks, Gart. We'll talk to you later. No problem. They'll come back. They always do. I uh, hope so. I hope so for your sake. Oh, okay. So, do we want to do our breakthrough? I guess we should. Cleaning out the rooms. What if you didn't lose your memory? What if something in Martinez came and stored it all away for you to slowly open one box at a time so you can choose which parts to keep? Keep almost none of it. Only the flowers on the windowsill. Only the distant sound of a radio. Lose all the actors, the dark shadows. Leave only the still lifes. The blissful distant wash of waves. If everybody knew, you never did. She'll be coming soon. That is all. Hmm. That's interesting. It's a little bit different than what I had uh, anticipated, I guess. Let's see what the bonuses are. Plus one suggestion, wake up. Plus one into the empire in a new life. And plus one rhetoric by the seaside. Wow, those are pretty good bonuses. Let's take a look at the art here. Well, now what's happening here? Is this a... Oh, this is like a dog or something? And we've got an eye on a jewelry box, maybe? Ooh, and look, there's an angry version of the dog over here. Some weird face. I don't know. I don't know. This art. I'd love to see all this art laid out side by side. Anyway, let's accept. And there we go. We have filled out our entire thought cabinet. As far as I know, we can't add more thoughts. We can forget some if we so choose, but I don't know necessarily that I want to do that. So let's, uh, let's look around the rest of this place. See who else we can talk to. Let's see what Martin has to say. Hi again, gendarme. Oh, there's nothing. Bye-bye, gendarme. All right, let's see if it's all about the money has anything more to say. Nope. And wow, it... It looks like there's only three of the Hardy Boys left, including Titus. Theo went like he lived, fast and hard, tough old man. Oh, wow. Okay, I knew Gary was shot. I didn't know about Leo. I mean, a Theo. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his bear in welcome. Yeah, hey, Titus. Careful. Looks like we got a situation here. Those guys are what Kuno calls the <laughs> army. They think they're a big deal around here. <laughs> Jesus, Kuno. He really hates the Hardy Boys. Laying off speed for a few days hasn't changed that. Titus ignoring him doesn't help either. Bet it doesn't. Crazy motherfuckers. Didn't think you had that fury in you. But I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. That was one hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. The fucks did not expect that. He looks at us with unmistakable respect. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, thank you for intervening, capo. That was mighty brave of you. Oh, and he extends his hand as he says it. Situation diffused. <laughs> Kuno. There's actually four different choices that have a shake his hand. 
this top one, I could see him maybe saying these other two about uh, worrying about the gloaming that's soon at hand and he superstar the shit out of it. That's not superstar anymore, even though that's what I'm calling it. It's not Harry anymore. So let's just shake Titus's hand and nod in silence. Now, how can I help you? His grip is strong and friendly. I'm sorry about the people you lost, Titus. Dio was old. I think he'd be pretty happy with the way he went. Never could imagine him withering away on a sickbed. But Angus... He was just a stupid kid. Didn't realize the mess he'd gotten into. Trusted me. Still, the balls on that kid went down fighting for someone else's shit like a fat, angry bear. Yeah, he definitely didn't run off. And this was his little brother too, Fat Angus. Here it comes. The last one is the worst one. He only deals with it by drinking copious amounts of 8% beer. And Glenn, Glenn was my friend, best I've ever had. I love that crazy homo like my own brother. We're all fucked without him, but what do you do? This job is shit. Hold on, where's that shanky fella? Dennis, that poor little rat is dead too. I always thought he'd run, but no. He stayed. Stupid, brave fella. Oh, wow, okay. I thought I saw a lot of them run. He didn't like him. That only makes it worse. They were good people. I'm sorry it went like that. Well, yeah. Memento Mori. Right? Right. Memento Mori, or oh. Remember That You Must Die, is a slogan various religious orders have thrown around since the dawn of mankind to emphasize the vanity of earthly life and the transient nature of all earthly pursuits. In essence, it means one should live virtuously in this life to live better in the afterlife. All right, that's a great explanation of Memento Mori, probably the best one I've ever gotten, and I actually thought I knew what it meant. Uh, I don't actually think it applies here, but I don't think Harry would say that, so let's just say, yeah, uh, totally, totally. Absolutely. Today, I'm going to get drunk, eat good food, and bed a good-looking guy. Because tomorrow, a motor carriage might run me over. Yeah, or you could be shot by a racist mercenary. Or you might die of a heart failure or syphilis. Yeah, thanks, Eugene. That's that's really uplifting. Hey, hey. Fuck you for ruining a beautiful idea. What's going to happen to the Hardy Boys now, Titus? I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. There's bound to be some ambitious fellows there who'd love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. Might even ask Tibbs if he's tired of replacing windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. Anyway, don't you worry. As long as Titus Hardy's standing, there will be Hardy Boys. All right. Do you know what happened to Claudia? Don't know. Don't care. I'll be glad if I never see that fucking woman again. Yeah, I can understand that sentiment. Even after all that hell, he's still bitter about her? That is, after all we've been through, level with me. You really liked her, didn't you? Nope. He did. We're just gonna say, okay, got it. He nods and takes another sip of whiskey. His clenched jaw says otherwise. If anything, it's another score for him to settle one day. It'll have to wait for now. Any thoughts about what we should do now, Titus? Judging by the sight of you, I'd suggest crawling into bed with a bottle of whiskey in one hand and a big tit in the other. I think the only tit that Superstar is going to get access to is his own big fat tit. Yeah, go pay Monica visiting Jandro. She's got a knack for making men forget about their worries. Biggest pair of milkers in all Rebacho. Uh, okay, thanks. I'll go pay your partner a visit in the hospital. I hear you got shot up pretty bad. That I would like to do. I don't know if we can do that. We don't have time for that grief shit. Kun and Pig are gunning it. We got a case to solve. Kun, he's Kun now, huh? Kun? And what the fuck now? <laughs> Easy, he. Let the kid be. This is a day of mourning, and I don't want it turned into a joke. You chasing the kid around, the kid calling you a fucktard. We don't need that shit. Right. Kuno keeps silent, too. That's, uh, surprising. So long, guys. Be good so I don't have to come back here again, huh? You look after yourself now, copper. Death passed on you today. 
But men don't get that lucky twice. Kapolako. Good luck in Jamrock. Scars made the best tattoos, they say. Thanks for getting involved, man. Not a lot of cops would step into that line of fire, but you did. We sure did, and so did Kim. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back, I've got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard, hardy boy, copper. Wow, that's uh, wow, what a it's complete turnaround from Titus. Okay, where should we go next? We could look around a little bit more. Kuno's gonna scram now. Can't be seen with pigs. Can't shit on Kuno's good name. So yeah, see you on the C4 island. Try not to get shot or drunk again. Kuno's counting on your ass. Kuno will rejoin your party later. Okay, thank you tutorial agent. Okay, so we're gonna step outside. We're gonna call it here. Uh, I think this will make for a, a nice ending. We'll pick it up. We'll figure out whether we can see Kim. Uh, we'll read this stuff here. We'll look around. Maybe Neha knows something. I'm not sure. Maybe we can't get to her. I don't think we can get into the, the dock, but that's all for next time. So thank you very much for continuing along this journey with me. I really appreciate your support. I love you very much. Please be sure to spay or neuter your pets.